In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use a technique to create contrast by using color versus black and white. We're going to take the central figure in this video, the young man in the apron, and cause him to stay color while everything around him turns to black and white. Now in this particular tutorial, we're going to freeze the action because we're only going to use the resources available in PowerDirector. In the next tutorial, we'll allow the action to remain in motion, but that will require ColorDirector. But this one you can do with any version of CyberLink PowerDirector. We'll show you a quick example and then we'll show you the technique. The first thing we do is we take our video clip from the media room and drag and put it down in track number one. I'll enlarge it a little bit here. And then what we want to do is find the frame where we want him to remain color and everything else to be black and white. So I can click and move to a frame that would be appropriate for me. Some of it's just related to timing in terms of what I want to appear on the screen before this happens. So let's assume this is a frame we want to use. Then the next step is to cut the video at that particular point. I'll use Control T to cut it, to split it, and then I'll just discard what's at the end. I'm going to use the comma to go back to the last frame if I need to. I'm on that frame, and we're going to create a freeze frame. Easiest way to do that is Control P as in Peter and we'll create that freeze frame. I can call it anything I want. I'll call it ABC. It doesn't matter so long as you remember the name. I'll click on Save. And it will put a copy of that in the media room. I'm going to take and drag that freeze frame down, drop it at the end of track number one, and I'm also going to put that into track number two. We're going to use the black and white and color contrast between these two freeze frames. But in order to do that, we need to mask the lower frame. Before I mask it, I need to use the frame itself to create part of the mask. Now you can do this with any photo editing software that you prefer. I'm going to use uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. So I'll open that. And then we will open our ABC JPEG. And then I'm going to use the, the magic wand tool to isolate the picture of the man from the rest of the scene. I'll pause the video while I do that. Now I'll right click on it and we'll select the inverse. And I'll press the delete key to make that go away. And I'll use my paint bucket to turn everything else into black. Now we're going to save this. I'll simply save this as a JPEG again. We'll just call this Mask. You can name it again anything you like and we'll click on Save. And then we'll get back to my copy of CyberLink PowerDirector. Now we're going to highlight the bottom of these two freeze frames on track two. Move to the Designer button above the timeline, click on the down arrow, and choose Mask Designer. I'm going to, to create an image mask, so I need to click on the top button of the three in the lower left panel. Now it will want to know where the mask comes from. I'm going to use the Mask JPEG I just created and click on open. And you notice I now have a mask that looks identical to the picture. Nothing seems to change here, but in a moment you'll see what difference this does make. I'm going to click on OK at the bottom. Now if I play this, you don't see any difference because we'll back up a little bit and we have motion going on and then everything freezes and everything is still color. 
to draw a difference between the mask at the bottom and the element at the top, the other freeze frame, we'll highlight the top freeze frame and we're going to take the color out. We'll click on Fix and Enhance and then I'm going to have to widen my left panel so we can see our options better. I'll go to Color Adjustment. We'll take the saturation down completely and we notice the background everything but the man now became black and white. What I can do to increase the difference, you notice he's a little bit more pale than I'd like him to be, is I'll click on the, my bottom freeze frame, go to that color adjustment, and we'll increase the vibrancy up a little bit. And now when we play our clip, we have motion and color and we come to the point where I want to make a contrast and he is color everything else is black and white. Again we'll show you in the next tutorial how to use color director if you happen to have a copy of that to have this same effect only to allow the background to keep moving while he stands there in color and everything else in black and white. Mm -hmm.